Hi Taurus, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. It can be a water sign, specifically Scorpio. We also have Pisces bottom deck energy and we have a Leo here twice. So it can be Scorpio, Leo, Pisces, and we have a little bit of Libra here, but more so representing partnerships, right? So yes, some of you know this person, some of you will be meeting them. I'm seeing a very compassionate energy, someone who will be very supportive, but there is a sense of divine timing at play here with the hangman, and strength can sometimes signify patience as well. So it may be that you've been manifesting this energy for a while. Some of you have been dating this person and it will move to a higher level of commitment. Because Sam Fifth House is also right dating. It's lighthearted, sometimes casual dating. But I see something serious developing here with time, patience, the more time and energy you spend with each other. I see your, it's like your love is growing stronger. That is the vibe. This is a divinely guided connection I'm seeing. If we look at the hand, right? Why is Ace of Cups here? Let's clarify. I do have Oracle cards we'll be looking at. I also pulled out the Love Fortune Teller for you because this is very love focused. Clarify Ace of Cups here. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you don't see this coming. Some of you have been way too uh, work focused. Queen of Pentacles, Devil. It's a little bit of a workaholic energy, right? Because Devil is Capricorn ruling our 10th house. We have another 10. You need a break. <laughs> You're at your wit's end. And some of you, you'll find this person when you are. Uh, very focused on some project goals or just responsibilities in general. Um, some of you may be feeling you're, you know, st stuck in a bit of a rut and going around in circles. But it's time to drop these burdens, right? It's, you know, the energy I'm getting, it's almost, yeah, like spring, fresh air. It's a new, I don't know, it'll feel very refreshing to you. That's the best way I can describe it. And this energy you're attracting is extremely loyal, very loyal. They'll defend you. If the need arises, they'll be there to protect you. Not that you need anyone, but it is a very loyal, protective energy, right? This is someone who can't hear someone bad mouthing you. It's not someone who will support anyone that is against you, really. Right? Yeah. It was a nice thing. They'll defend you. It's seven of wands, five of pentacles. Through thick and thin, they'll be with you. That is the energy I'm getting from them. Let's get one more on the Ace of Cups, Taurus. Yeah. I'm not doing reversals, but what I'm feeling, yeah, Eight of Cups. This is reversed. Ten of wands in reverse. You're letting go of anything that is no longer serving you. Some of you, this is a past relationship. I have to show you this. I do shuffle my Oracle cards off camera as well to get your energy in the card, but we'll be shuffling on camera. But what I was drawn to was wants you back and false promises. So definitely can be an ex lingering here that you've let go of, but they're clinging and they're not to be trusted. But let's leave the past where it belongs and i see a new adventure for you and you're ready you're ready to take that leap when it comes to your love life starting from scratch i was telling you that spring energy it feels very refreshing that's the feeling i'm getting why is king of cups here tell me more about this energy yeah this energy is very do you see that Two of Cups was wanting to come through. But it does signify a decision you'll have to make when it comes to this energy. But do you see how he's offering the cup to the Queen of Pentacles? This person may be younger than you, but doesn't have to be because we also have the King. Can be a little bit shy energy, um, especially when they're falling in love with you. So they may be a little bit 
cautious because they're so sensitive. So if you were to reject them, they take it pretty hard, right? They are Scorpio, so once they have their eyes on someone, that's all they can think about. The shadow or negative aspect can be that they can be prone to jealousy and possessiveness with strength, so they do need to tame that more jealous, possessive side of themselves, which they do, right? Which is why they're coming towards the King of Cups. This is not an overbearing energy. This is someone who's wise, so they can see your side of the situation as well. So that, yeah, I don't see this. I don't see them being suffocating or anything. But yeah, not. I don't see this person's about drama. Normally, it can be a bit of a lone body. Someone who likes to be on their own, leaning more towards the introverted side. But very calm, peaceful. Someone who's in control of themselves and their emotions. Why strength here? I'm hearing support system with strength. Six of Cups. This is like soulmates. This person will win your heart. They'll woo you by being kind to you and wanting to do things for you, being sweet, supportive, listening to you. That is how they'll pursue you, by being there for you in times of need. Some of you, this may be a childhood friend that's silently been crushing on you, but that'll be for maybe one or two of you. I see commitment here. We're going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten. A lot of passion between the both of you. They're saying magic happens when you let go. Yeah, Ten of Wands let go. Some of you, if there's control issues, you're manifesting this person. We have manifesting what you want. We have 90 and 6-6. Six, six. These numbers may hold some significance, but yeah, I was telling you something about patience and divine timing because you're manifesting this person. Someone loyal, dedicated, and someone who only has eyes for you. Toxic behavior, number 32. They're saying trust your intuition. There's someone better. Who is this? Toxic behavior, there's someone better. Better boundaries. Perhaps that is something we're working on here. Taking their time. Some of you with the Six of Cups strength, if you've been manifesting a second chance, yeah, manifesting what you want, trust will be rebuilt. Um, it can be you reconciling with the past person and you both working on things, right? And it may be that this situation with your past person is taking its time, but it will be resolved. And we have sudden change. Let's get one more for you. Trust your intuition. Yeah, focus on your success and they say, they're saying you've met your soulmate or at least you will be meeting your soulmate. What is the sudden change about? Give me one card for sudden change. Feelings are mutual. The new beginning. So yeah, some of you this is a new beginning with a past person. But also the person you are attracting, you're manifesting your soulmate. Perhaps that is moving at a turtle's pace, right? And suddenly, before you know it, things are rapidly moving forward. There are sudden changes, and you both are expressing your feelings to each other, and you're embarking on a new journey, new chapter here, full and new beginning. That's why I've seen the Two of Cups, right? The two people um, looking into each other's eyes. What blessings are coming towards Taurus? We have protection, okay. 
You are protected from the tongues that are not wise. So yeah, evil eye, if you believe in that, people talking about you behind your back, whatever, sending you negative energy, you're protected. And that is a blessing. What blessings can Taurus six? We have someone from your past is returning to your life. Remember, it's up to you if you want to revisit your past. Yeah, so trust your intuition. If they haven't done anything too crazy and your intuition is telling you so, then maybe they're worth another chance, right? Which is why with the Queen of Pentacles and Two of Swords, I was seeing you have a decision to make. Some of you, it can be a decision between new and past, right? It is a general reading. What blessings are coming towards Taurus? Fertility. This is the perfect time to start new projects, fall in love, change jobs, and give birth to a new abundant life. And we have that with blooming. Blooming and fertility. We have beetle, good fortune, fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So good fortune when it comes to money or business matters. Seventh house can be long-term partnerships, right? But it can also be, you know, when it in regards to love partnerships, but also business partnerships. So there can be. Forming bonds, partnerships, um, when it comes to money matters, that will be long-lasting. There's a loyalty if you're not interested in love. And that is also an interpretation, but a lot of you, this is love. We have September, December, I'm not taking that. Oh, also when it comes to that um, first spread we had with tarot, I had a lot of reference to summertime. So summer may be very significant. Uh, specifically Leo season with the sun but just summer in general and what is this we have scissors disappointment in some affair yeah I think things are leaving um, being cut out of your life that aren't serving you right and some of you are taking th matters into your hands with the eight of cups that's by choice right you're leaving things behind that are bogging you down it's all about forward movement and traveling light you're not wanting to carry this load right this fool is opposite energy from ten of wands it's more light-hearted carefree so some of you if you have been you know that workaholic energy i was getting i see you making more time here for play as well what blessings are coming towards taurus we have kite vacation, so some of you can be travel here for you. And we have September and spiritual love. And we also have July. So end of July, August is the Leo season. So some of you may meet someone here in September because we have spiritual love. It can be also a deep friendship. Um, with say someone of the same gender or opposite sex whatever doesn't it can be platonic as well if that is what you're seeking you know new friendships but a lot of you this is a very intuitive emotional passionate bond with someone what blessings are coming towards Taurus let's get two more we have fair man <laughs> yeah dealings or relationship with a man with blonde gray or white hair and we have tulip, great passion. Yeah, spiritual love, great passion. Some of you, this can be a fair man. May, there may be some travel required here with vacation. Some of you may meet them while you're on vacation, but I wasn't seeing strong indications of that. And we have financial pinch. That is what you'll be coming out of, right? Because this is a blessings reading. So if you have been feeling that you're limited with your resources, whatever your situation is, things will be improving. Wishbone, a wish is granted, bottom deck energy. Tell me more about this person. 
I think it's the same energy I was picking up on. Emperor. This can be someone who's older with white, gray hair, whatever their situation is. Yeah, we have blonde, gray, white hair. Now if we look at the emperor, this beard is completely white here in this image, but this is someone who has a lot of wisdom, experience under their belt. They're extremely intelligent, responsible. It is Aries energy, so I see great passion, someone who takes charge, very dominant, knows what they want and goes after it. Ooh. Some of you, this can be your energy as well. Yeah, Airy. King of Wands, Five of Wands. Very competitive. Yeah, some of you are single. We have a pair here. Empress, Emperor, and you, yeah. You're enjoying life, being single, happily single, sitting pretty, handsome, a lot of abundance around you. You've worked hard and now you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. Really, that is the energy I'm getting. Look at that combination and you will have an offer here. We have three of cups, page of cups, ace of pentacles. It's a very lucky period for your love life. But we have this masculine energy this is someone who's very competitive, can be argumentative as well, Taurus, but they will be the one who's pursuing you because you're Empress energy, Nine of Pentacles, you're vibrating very high, so I'm assuming you have a lot of people vying for your attention, admirers, this person will want to fight off any competition. They're very possessive, I was telling you that, right? I'm getting the same energy. They'll be very passionate when it comes to you. And some of you know this person and they'll be wanting to fight for your attention here perhaps step up with the emperor they're ready to make that change right we had sudden change i see that here and others of you brand new energy this is a new person i actually want to pull out another deck for you taurus didn't want as many um oracle decks but I feel like getting a few on this emperor. I feel this is the same energy. I don't feel it's multiple people. So we have fair man and the emperor coming towards you with a lot of passion. Yeah, look at that parental love. This person's older or they'll play a more it's almost like a father figure in a way, something. They'll be wanting to guide you, protect you. There's a parent and child role dynamic in this relationship. Learn how to meet your partner as an equal. I'm not getting anything negative um, with this card. I'm just getting a protective energy. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Protected by love. Your partner will be protective of you, feeling an obligation to take care of you. Just be sure it's not possessiveness. Uh, yes, it is. It's definitely possessiveness. I think it will be mutual. You're both very possessive of one another. Some of you may meet this person online. We have online, prize possession, sexual chemistry, fast lane. Take your time getting to know this person. Um, I See, I'm not getting a bad vibe from this person. But there's a fine line here, right? So, yeah, there's a need to establish stronger boundaries. Make sure this person doesn't walk all over you, right? So there has to be that healthy balance here. And make sure you take your time because the situation, once you do meet them, if you haven't met them, things may really move forward quickly. It's like you can't keep your hands off this person. And they, you, sexual chemistry. This person is really going to want you. We have Into the Unknown. Let's get one more. 
happily ever after. We'll take that. You're stepping into your happily ever after, a future filled with so much joy and personal fulfillment. There's a lot of potential here, right? I was saying you're manifesting this person so really has potential to be your happily ever after. I'm someone that will be very protective, loyal, and there for you. It's a reliable, dedicated energy. I'm seeing loyalty. This person seems amazing for a lot of you. But yes, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.